Oh, you need a mic. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, dear colleagues and friends from our media, uh, thank you for attending this media conference. Now, first, uh, my CEC colleagues and I would like to thank comrades Kobun Wan, Teo Chi Hien, Tharman Shamugaratnam, Lim Sui Se, and Yaakob Ibrahim. They dedicated many years of service to the party and to fellow Singaporeans and continue to serve. Second, as regards the new CEC, I deeply appreciate the trust and confidence of my cabinet colleagues in cabinet, as well as PAP cadres who elected us into the CEC. I will discharge my responsibilities as a first a ASG to the best of my ability, with assistance from Chun Singh and the rest of my colleagues. We fully appreciate the significance of today's milestone in the process of political leadership renewal. Singaporeans take a keen interest in the leadership renewal of the PAP. They would like to see a strong and united political leadership working in close partnership with our people to take Singapore and Singaporeans forward. Our three prime ministers were well-respected figures, both at home and abroad. There is natural interest in who will succeed them. But it is just as important that we have a strong, united and cohesive team in the cabinet. We must connect with our party members and our people and complement one another with our different strengths. The younger ministers have chosen me to be their leader and I have accepted. It is my privilege to serve. I am deeply conscious of the heavy responsibility that I am taking on. Leading the party and governing Singapore are massive and complex tasks. No one person can do it alone. Not even Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, who had the help of able, stout-hearted colleagues. I'm heartened that I have the backing of a strong team. Our team has strengths in different areas and a range of skills to deal with a complex set of internal and external challenges. Based on our experience of working together in the past few years, I'm confident that we will work well together to take Singapore forward and to improve the lives of Singaporeans. As the new team steps up to their responsibilities in the months ahead, I look forward to the continued support and counsel of PM and our senior colleagues. We must also continue to grow this team to continue assembling the most dedicated and most devoted group of men and women to serve Singapore. In particular, I have asked uh, Chun Singh to be my deputy, and he has agreed. I'm grateful for his support, and also thank my colleagues for supporting my choice. I'm looking forward to working even more closely with Chun Singh. We have worked well together for several years now in the OSC, organizing the SG50 celebrations in the Future Economy Council, and the party. Chun Singh has many strengths. Our styles and areas of expertise complement each other well. I'm confident that in the years ahead, our partnership will grow even stronger. Together with others in the team, we can advance Singapore in different areas. I also thank all PAP MPs for endorsing me as the next leader and Chun Singh as the deputy at the party caucus today. As the President said at the opening of Parliament in May this year, the right to leadership cannot be inherited, and every generation must earn the right to lead. We'll work hard to earn the trust and confidence of Singaporeans, just as PM and his team did before. This is a very important task that has already begun and will gather pace. We'll need new actions and new connections with every generation. Over time, we'll develop our own style of governing in keeping with the aspirations and needs of Singaporeans. We'll continue to reach out to Singaporeans at different stages of life in different segments of society, each contributing back to society in different ways. We'll take concrete actions to address Singaporeans' needs and concerns. Singapore is still a very young country. After 53 years of going through thick and thin together, we are not done building the nation. We must dedicate ourselves 
to writing the next chapter of the Singapore story. We must have confidence that we can make it happen. We look forward to partnering Singaporeans to build a brighter future for Singapore. I will now say a few words in Mandarin. I Thank Jin 我也特别期待和正身更密切合作多年以来我们在许多领域都合作的很好我希望继续通过和正身以其他同僚的共同决策推动新加坡在每个领域的发展每一代领导人必须构建国人和领导之间的互信随着时代的改变国人的梦想和需求也不同我们会调整执政风格与时俱进我们会继续倾听民生广纳民意执行集思广益我们会和全国人民社区团体企业一同努力建立一个具有凝聚力包容性和关怀性的社会我们会采取实际行动经过同时经过时间的考验赢得国人的信心和信任只要大家在顺境中同甘在逆境中共苦我们就能打造更美好的新加坡。I'll now say a few words in Malay. Saya sangat hargai kepercayaan dan keyakinan dan diberikan oleh rakan-rakan pemimpin 4G kerana memilih saya sebagai ketua pasukan. Saya akan jalankan tugas yang berat ini dengan penuh tanggungjawab dan sebaik mungkin. Saya alu-alukan peluang untuk bekerja lebih rapat dengan pasukan 4G. Mereka ada banyak kekuatan dan gaya kepimpinan dan sepakaran kami. Saling mengkalapi satu lama sama lain. Saya berbasa hati kerana Chun Sing menjadi timbalan saya. Kami telah bekerja rapat dalam banyak bidang. Bersama-sama, pasukan pemimpin 4G akan mencorak gaya kepimpinan Pimpin dan kepimpinan dan urus tabir kami sendiri seiring kepuluhan serta aspirasi rakyat Singapura. Kami alukan kami alu alukan peluang untuk bergandung bahu bersama rakyat Singapura termasuk masyarakat Melayu Islam demi membina masa de- depan yang lebih cerah untuk kita semua. Terima kasih. I'll ask uh, Chun Sing to now say a few words. <laughs> Terima kasih sikit. <laughs> Sebagai rakan sepasukan dan dalam semangat kerja berpasukan, saya juga akan memberi sedikit ucapan Melayu, bahasa Melayu. <laughs> Seperti yang kita tahu, Singapura telah cepat banyak kemajuan selama tahun 50 lebih 50 tahun. Tapi kita 
tidak boleh mengambil muda kejayaan kita. Mas, ada banyak cabaran-cabaran yang harus kita tumbuh bersama. Untuk terus berjaya, kita perlu pasukan yang terbaik dan cekap untuk terus memimpin Singapura. Sukit dan saya serta anggota kabinet yang lain semua bersatu hati dan mempunyai tujuan yang sama. Kami mahu Singapura terus maju dan akan terus membuat yang terbaik bagi Singapura dan semua warga Singapura. Setiap anggota dalam pasukan kami mempunyai kekuatan masing-masing. Kami akan bekerja rapat dengan satu sama lain. Sekiranya seseorang kurang pengalaman dalam salah satu aspek, anggota lain yang lebih pengalaman kan akan sedia berkongsi pengalaman mereka. Sebagai satu pasukan, kami saling melengkapi satu sama lain. Dengan semangat ini, saya yakin kita akan dapat membina masa depan yang lebih cerah bagi semua warga Singapura. Nah, saya percaya apa yang paling penting bagi masa depan Singapura adalah kita harus percaya yang ia bukan hanya tentang kekuatan yang ada pada diri kita sendiri, tetapi kekuatan kita semua, kita semua dalam satu tim Singapura bersama sebagai satu pasukan Singapura atau bahasa Melayu ada katanya bersatu kita teguh bercerai kita robo. Okay, let me now say a few words in uh, Mandarin then I'll continue. 刚才就如瑞杰所谈到的，瑞杰和我都有一个共同的愿景，那就是把最强、最好的团队奉献于新加坡，让我们的人民能安居乐业，能有更好的未来，让我们的孩子、让我们的子孙每一代都能充满着信心。为了保持新加坡的竞争力。以及让我们的社会的凝聚力加强加深，政治稳定是相当的重要。我会全力以赴和瑞杰一起配合，还有我们的团队一起的配合，来为新加坡打造一个更美好的未来。我也希望新加坡人和我们可以一起的携手，把一个更美好的新加坡留给下一代。团队的凝聚力也是至关重要。瑞杰和我会一起的配合，把我们的团队最强、最好的一面献给新加坡。我们会扮演好我们各自的角色，更重要的是，我们会把整个团队、整个新加坡一起凝聚起来，把每一个人的优势、把每一个人的强项带出来。为新加坡做出一份贡献，所以最重要的是，不管在未来我们有什么挑战，只要我们齐心，我深信我们的团队不止我们两位，更重要的是我们大家的一位团队，就能一起的克服这一些困难以及挑战，把新加坡带到一个更高、更好的里程碑。I'll just add a couple of words in English. I think Suiket have and I we have shared what we aspire to bring forth in our service to our nation. But I must say that both of us share the same goal. We have long discussions on how we should carry out our duties individually and collectively as a team. And what we share so passionately. And so similarly, is this sense that it is a weighty responsibility on our shoulders to take the country forward together in the next lap. And just as Suiket has said, we can't do this alone, not by the two of us, not even just with our team within the PAP. We need to join hands with fellow Singaporeans to do this and do this well. So teamwork is critical to us. 
our team must be greater than the sum of our individual parts. And I have great respect for Swikit's capabilities, especially his considerable international experience and his knowledge of the financial markets. As a team, we will complement one another, leveraging on our respective strengths to do our best for Singapore. So thank you very much. With that, we will take a few questions from the media. Perhaps, could you give us a sense of how the 4G leaders came to this uh, decision, consensus mm -hmm. that you will be the one leading them? And um, also, uh, sort of an elaboration of why you chose Minister Chan as your deputy. You said earlier that you both shared the same similar styles. Um, the second question is, given the concerns uh, surrounding your oh, health... That's your second question. <laughs> oh, my third question, yes. <laughs> so, given the concerns um, around your health uh, and the stress and pressures of the job, uh -huh. for example, the international travel that you will have to do, uh, some are wondering if you'd be able to manage all of that. What do you have to say to that? Well, uh, well thank you for the question. First, um, how did the 4G leaders came to this uh, consensus? In fact, the 4G leaders have been uh, speaking to one another uh, over many months now. Uh, in fact, uh, even before uh, January ESM's statement. And they have been talking to one another, they have been uh, discussing with one another. And in the process, uh, they came to a, a consensus on, how, uh, on who they would choose as a leader. And when they uh, told me about it, I had a discussion with Chun Singh and I asked Chun Singh to be my deputy and uh, we, we agreed. In fact, uh, Chun Singh agreed very quickly and then we ended up talking about what we need to do. <laughs> you know, what are the things that we have to do? Uh, there are a number of uh, in internal and external challenges that we must uh, manage. But there are also very significant opportunities in the years ahead. And therefore, in this period of rapid change, it is very important that we have a strong united team. A strong united team in cabinet, and I think Chun Singh can compliment me very well. At the same time, a strong united team together with all the other ministers in, in cabinet and with fellow Singaporeans. Because uh, I've seen uh, so many examples of what is happening in other countries where the energy is not focused on going forward, but instead the energy is focused on the internal squabbles and uh, on looking at the past. I think we should be building on what we have and look forward. So as your question, why uh, Minister Chan? Well, uh, Chun Singh has uh, many strengths. And since we entered, Chun Singh was served in the army uh, for many years. And when we, after we entered politics, Chun Singh was with the unions and with the grassroots. So he has been doing a lot of uh, groundwork with uh, the various organizations and grassroots organizations as well as with our party. And uh, it is important that we pull together our strength to mobilize. And uh, we, we work very closely together in the last, uh, in the by-elections as well as in the general election in 2015, together with many members who are here. Uh, and I must say that you know, it, 2015 was uh, a very positive year and that the hard work that we've put in, both in terms of the uh, SG50 celebration as well as the work that we did in the elections, uh, helped to rally the support of Singaporeans. We also worked together uh, very earlier on, on the Our Singapore Conversations, where we uh, spoke to uh, you know, large groups of Singaporeans. Yeah. And uh, when I was in the Ministry of Education and Chun Singh was in the Ministry of Social, MSF, at the, at the time, I think it was called uh, <laughs> uh, MCYS. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we we worked together on this uh, early childhood. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, we we set up this EGDA, the Early Childhood Development Agency, because we both felt that it is important for us to provide even better preschool education for our kids. So, from the anchor operator scheme to the MOE kindergarten that started in MOE, uh, we had a very nice framework to uh, work together on this, pulling the strengths of MOE and uh, MCCY at that time. Uh, so, so those are the uh, very good experiences that we have had working together. And I, 
uh, I can see how Chun Seng can be very, very uh, helpful to me. Because as I said, the task of running the country cannot be done uh, by one man alone, not even Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. And, uh, and it's not just Chun Seng and I, as Chun Seng emphasized, but really the entire team here, uh, and uh, entire cabinet team and our MPs. Now as to your uh, third question on my health and international travel, in fact, this year I've done so much international travel. I've been to Argentina twice. Uh, whichever way you fly, it takes 30 hours. <laughs> and uh, I'm going a, a third time uh, with the PM for the G20 meeting. Yeah. Next week, in fact, just uh, on uh, Monday nights, I'll be flying again. I've also uh, been to China, uh, I think at least twice, if not three times. I've been to India, I've been to uh, Japan, and also recently in Bali for our... Uh, meetings. So, I, it, in fact, I'm traveling even more than when I was MDMAS. Now, I, you asked about my medical conditions. First of all, I'm very, uh, very blessed and very grateful for the support of uh, fellow Singaporeans. I had immediate care when I collapsed in cabinets, and uh, Dr. Janil and Janil and Vivian gave me very good uh, support, you know, immediate care. Right there and then, the ambulance from and then from there, from the ambulance crew to the wonderful team at uh, National Neuroscience Institute and Tan Tok Seng Hospital. I mean, a wonderful team of doctors, nurses, therapists. I mean, they, they took very good care of me, and I would say not just me because you know they they are very professional and they take very good care of all Singaporeans who are admitted. In fact, uh, I had many friends from abroad who said it is very lucky that you have such a good system in Singapore. And I say, indeed. Yeah. So, um, I've made a, a very good recovery. The doctors have given me a clean bill of health. And in fact, in my latest uh, medical checkup, uh, my results are even better than before. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I have uh, lost a bit of uh, weight. That's because I'm fitter now. I'm spending more time uh, in my exercise. Yeah. So I, I really, uh, uh, I would not have taken up this appointment if I do not have the confidence that my health allows me to do it. And I've consulted my doctors, I look at the medical reports, I've consulted uh, the, the doctors, the medical reports, as well as uh, knowing my own uh, energy level. So I, I took this up after thinking about it very, very uh, seriously, and in particular, making sure that my health allows me to do that. Now, this episode, this life and death episode for me, I think strengthens my commitment to uh, serve Singaporeans. Yeah, this, this very major life and death episode strengthens my commitment to serve Singaporeans because I personally and my family feel the care and support that so many people, so many Singaporeans uh, gave to me, uh, including, you know, people from different religious groups. Yeah. I have so many religious leaders and religious groups who said they prayed for me, and I'm really very, very grateful. And I feel that I, I should do my very best to serve Singaporeans, to make sure that what we have achieved in Singapore can continue. And in fact, we build on that. Yeah. Because we must continue to improve the lives of all Singaporeans, whether it is in healthcare, in the creating uh, good jobs, or in better housing, or in better education. I think we, we owe it to all Singaporeans to do this. And I hope that uh, certainly with uh, Chun Seng and the support of my team, uh, we can do this. And uh, I hope that many more uh, people would join us in this uh, journey. The first one is for, first a few for Mr. Heng. You know, Mr. Heng, what would your leadership style be and how would that differ from, you know, past leaders? And, uh, you know, throughout the long-drawn speculation over the uh, political succession, you know, 
there have been support for the different front runners. How do both uh, Mr. Heng and Mr. Chan plan to rally the ground, both not just Singaporeans, but also among party members? And uh, Mr. Heng, I would also like to ask, uh, you know, speculation that election is coming, uh, what kind of a role will you be playing? Would it be, will you be in the driver's seat or would you be in the passenger seat? And uh, last question uh, for both is, uh, what kind of guidance are you hoping to get specifically from the senior leaders, like the likes of Mr. Shan and uh, Prime, Minister, uh, Prime Minister Lee? And uh, for Mr. Chan specifically, last question, <coughs> What will your role uh, specifically be as uh, you know, deputy to Mr. Hing? Yeah, thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there are ma many questions, so I think we'll have to keep your answer very short because I see many hands. Uh, first, what is my leadership style? Well, I, I think I, I have been uh, serving in the public service and in political leadership for uh, many, many years now, in fact, my whole life. And I, I think uh, it's probably a question that you can... Uh, better direct to the people who have worked with me and say, what is his leadership style? Um, I would say that my own sense is that I, I'm very open. I, I hear, listen to all views, and I decide what needs to be done. And where it is important enough, we will, we will be fast and decisive about it, just as what I did during the global financial crisis. Because every minute is every minute of delay is, means far greater risk. And therefore, we will, I'm very glad that uh, we were, we, I have a very good team at that time at the MAS and that we were able to take uh, major action in order to protect our financial system and protect the savings of Singaporeans. Now, um, your second question about um, how we're going to rally our party members and our cabinets. I think, the, first of all, within cabinet, the 4G, I mean, the younger leaders have all come together. And uh, it, it is a very united team. And I hope that we will strengthen the cohesiveness uh, even more. And at the party side, in fact, uh, Chun Singh and I will be meeting our uh, party branch secretaries uh, immediately following this uh, for us to uh, rally our ground. And your third question on the coming GE, now, coming GE, in every GE, everyone is involved. Every member of parliament, every candidate is involved. Everyone has to work hard. And I would say that not just during the GE. In fact, the, the work starts the day you are elected. And that is what we have been doing. So I expect the same. Uh, in fact, we have been doing this. It is a continuous process. I think as what Suiket mentions, we all come into this role with different background, different experience. And that's how I think, that's why it's wonderful because we see things from different perspectives. But we all share the same goal and that's the most important. And that is how to do the best for the country, do the best for our people. So we see it as a strength that both of us have slightly different background, different di perspective. And that's how we mesh the perspective together to bring out the best. You asked about what are the things that we learn from our seniors, and we continue to learn from them. You know, every cabinet meeting where we attend with them, uh, from the discussion, they pass on their experiences on the international circuit, they pass on their experiences in terms of the political judgment. But I want to emphasize one thing that we have learned from them. At least I think I can say it definitely for myself, and I think it's the same for Swicket, mm -hmm. and that is teamwork. I've always said this in many occasions. No matter how good we are individually, it is necessary but not sufficient. What distinguishes the Singapore team from the rest of the other people whom we are competing, the other countries that whom we are competing, is the fact that we have a very cohesive team. And that is the hallmark of our leadership style. You know, in, in Chinese, say, I think I learned this from Zhao Pao. No? They say that... Uh, what we are most concerned with uh, is the direction which the com country is going rather than where the individual is going. And I think that is a constant reminder to us of what we learned from the previous generations 
and current generation of leaders, how we come together, set aside our own personal considerations, but always to put the country in front. And if we can keep this within the DNA of the PAP, within the DNA of the Singapore leadership, I think we will go from strength to strength. If I could just add one small point. What Chun Seng said reminds me of what Mr. Lim Sui Se used to say. He said, same, same, but different. So we are same, same in that we are all united by a, a common sense of purpose, which is to take Singapore forward to improve the lives of Singaporeans. And I can say this of all our MPs and our party members. But the different perspectives actually strengthens our team. So what we need to do is to garner all these different perspectives and then make a decision and work. You know, put, put into action what we have decided and do concrete things. Just for the fun of it, uh, the Lim Sui Se's disciple called Heng Chi Hao has a, another one. <laughs> it says, even if we may not be the same, but we are one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we are one united team and we have one united purpose. Show me from Zao Bao. I really need to ask this stupid but important question. So, Minister Heng, does that mean that you'll be the next Prime Minister? <laughs> and um, in the next cabinet reshuffle, will the both of you actually be named DPM? Uh, I think that's, that's something that a lot of people are concerned with. Also, to add on the process of um, uh, for the 4G to actually come out with this consensus, uh, what was the process like? Who bought who lunch? Who bought who dinner? and things like that, and um, whether it can be shared also that when was the consensus actually reached? Thanks. Oh, I must ask in Mandarin. <laughs> but it will be good if you can answer certain parts in Mandarin. Thanks. Now, when, when will... Uh, your, your first question is a question that... Uh, I mean, PM has put out his statement about the 4G leadership choosing me as a leader, but I think what is important is that it, it is critical for us to win the support of Singaporeans. The PM has indicated the timeline for the next uh, general election. So we, we are working hard to win, this, win the trust and confidence of Singaporeans, win the trust and support of Singaporeans. So that is the most important uh, part of it. Now, your question about uh, cabinet reshuffle and so on, this is a prerogative of the Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister Lee is in charge. So I think you can ask him that question. Now, on your, yeah. on your question on the process, who did what, who bought who, uh, lunches, meals and all that, le let me say that neither Chun Seng nor I were involved in any of the discussions. Yeah. The, they decided among themselves and uh, there's a process which they've gone through. They actually met uh, on several occasions and they decide among themselves what they are looking for and uh, how we can forge a strong team. It is a, you ask when did, they, uh, when did they decide? Well, um, they informed me about it before our uh, CEC election, so about a month ago. Yeah. And uh, they've also informed you know, the Prime Minister. So it's... The, the, the process is nobody bought, I think nobody bought anybody uh, uh, lunches for the purpose of, <laughs> <laughs> you know, lobbying for this or that. It is uh, uh, no, budget. no budget for this. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Last question. Last. Hi, Rachel from the Straits Times. Um, just a quick <coughs> question. Um, you, this is a very critical CEC going to the next GE, which is expected to be next year. Can you just quickly say a few things about why the co-opted members that you've chosen? And um, also, you appear to be the consultation king, having led many consultations. Is, is, this the pro is this the premise that you're going to, the vision that you're going to lead um, Singapore with, that it has to be more consultative, even more than, say, Mr. Goh? Yeah, thanks. Well, first, uh, on your first question about... Uh you know, the, how were the members co-opted? Now, in our party constitution, we always uh, co-opt uh, CEC members. And in this case, we have uh, co-opted uh, two ministers as well as uh, two of our MPs. And in fact, uh, they, it is, what we want is to enlarge our CEC so that 
we can reach out to different groups of people and to have people with uh, perspectives that can add to the depth of our decision, the breadth and depth of our decision making. So that's the reason why we co-opt and uh, they, were, they were co-opted after a very careful consideration on the strengths that they could bring uh, to the poll process. Now on your second question about uh, consultation, let me, let me say that uh, the consultation process that the government has been making has, uh, has a long history. We started in earlier years and we, and increasingly, as more Singaporeans have uh, interesting perspectives, uh, we are enlarging this consultation. And I said, going beyond consultations, uh, Grace set up the Our Singapore Fund uh, during our celebration because we want to encourage our people do not just offer a view, but where they can, to play a part in building Singapore. So whether it is at the community level, whether it's at the national level. And if you look at the results of our work on the Committee on the Future Economy, during the process of coming up with the recommendations on the Committee of the Future Economy, uh, the entire team did a very extensive consultation. And as a result of which we got very good uh, views, also a very good commitment and understanding by business leaders as well as workers on what we need to do and why we need to change. Now, uh, Chun Sing was at the union at that time and he, in fact he did quite a lot of the work to reflect the perspectives of our workers. Now at the same time, uh, now in the Future Economy Council, we have a very good team of uh, ministers as well as uh, corporate leaders, uh, academia, and people from the various sectors to give us a broader perspective. And the result of it has been that when it comes to implementation, many more of them are taking the lead. They are exercising very important leadership roles in the business chambers, in the trade associations, in the unions, to encourage everyone that this is a serious business, an important business for us to restructure our economy. This is the only way that we can continue to grow our economy and grow the wages of our workers. Yeah, Chun Seng, you have anything to add to that? So I only say it is, it's not just a consultation in terms of getting views. Actually, as what Swiket mentioned, it is also a process to mobilise ourselves with fellow Singaporeans for action. Uh, so the consultation is the first part of the process. Mm -hmm. The people whom we consult are also the people the partners that we need to work with in order to bring to fruition our plans. And this is how I think we, we work and this is how we see going forward. Because as what we mentioned, it's not the teamwork going forward is not just the two of us. It's not even just within the cabinet and amongst fellow uh, party members. It is a mobilisation of the entire Singapore society to come together and do this. And we firmly believe, I think we can speak for both of us, we believe that if we remain united, remain cohesive, and we can mobilise everybody to do things with the same clarity of purpose, no problems will defeat us. Thank you. And, and in fact, uh, and what Chun Seng said reminds me of another area that uh, we had very good partnership with our people in the form of the community network for seniors. Because in a community network for seniors, we were able to mobilise the younger seniors as well as some very young people to uh, form a network and with our uh, seniors. And as a result of which, I think we, make, we can take much better care of our seniors. And that is the way to go, that as we, our needs multiply significantly, this partnership uh, will grow in importance. Okay. Thank, you very sure. much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.